Hey guys, good morning. We're back in Tucson. We're actually outside of Tucson this morning though. We are out looking for firewood. So we're in Oracle, kind of like in the hills. It's really pretty up here though. Um, we're kind of four wheeling on this road here. <laughs> Michael stopped because he's looking to, he's looking for oak. So that's what we're hoping to find instead of mesquite. There's lots of mesquite up here, but we're, we're keeping our eyes out for some oak that we can take home with us. What is that? What am I looking at? It's a little antler. Yeah, so there's one up here. I'm gonna drive up here. Oh, and you'll be able to turn. Oh, Did they lose those that. naturally. It was laying down in the. Huh, case, look at that. You... They scrape them off. You can tell when it's been scraped off. Oh, okay. I thought so. It wasn't like hurt or something. I doubt it. <laughs> it's such a beautiful day, you guys. The temperature like it's cool and crisp this morning but it's gonna warm up nicely it'll probably be in the 80s today but right now it's probably in the 60s i'd say maybe 65. Well, it's probably almost 70 now but it's like <laughs> i'm in a fleece because i'm not i'm not even used to like 70 degree weather i'm like 80 80s and above okay michael found some wood let's see what he's got on Yes, I'm still holding on to the antler. Um, by the way, Michael said that it lost it naturally. You can tell at the end. This would be excellent top dressing for succulents and cactus. There's manzanita up here too. That would be awesome to do some projects with. Hmm. That's a pretty chunk of quartz. It has like peach and pink running through it. I like this piece. Hey guys, good morning. I'm having breakfast right now. Well, I'm having a pomegranate, kind of like a pre-breakfast snack before I do a little workout. I've got a fire going in the background there. It was cold this morning. A little bit crisp, but dry and sunny. Here, let me flip you around. I don't know if you'll be able to see out the window. I love sitting here in the morning having breakfast because there's a nice view of the Catalina Mountains out there. So pretty when the sun comes up and it's just like all lit up. And in the evening, in the evening time too, it's like all lit up, all hot pink. I have a towel on me because I'm wearing my white, my white marble <laughs> yoga leggings. And I don't want to get pomegranate juice on them, so I just throw a towel over me. All right, I'm gonna grab this tea I got at Trader Joe's. This one, I really like the flavor of this. It's blueberry pomegranate. Green tea, pomegranate again. Oh, and later on, um, let's see, maybe like for lunch, we'll do Southwestern uh, vegan breakfast tacos. I've got a project we're gonna do later today too. I've got to spray paint these pots. So I've got some spray paint primer down there that I got Rust-Oleum from Home Depot, and we're gonna spray paint these. See the black rims there? Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. So we're gonna spray paint those white so you can see the plastic pot in there and see how they're in tiny little pots. So they're just, they're little four inch pots just sitting in there right now. We need to get potted up. So we're gonna take care of that later. And I've gotta do some house cleaning too. So I've gotta take care of that. The fire is still going a little bit. So cozy. Oh, so those um, Dracaenas, those little baby Dracaenas I showed you, that's what this is here. So um, I really like them a lot. It's the Dracaena marginata, the ones that have the red edge. Right, let's see, will that come up? I don't know if it's gonna come up but they have this real fine red edge to them. Um, this one's doing a lot better now too. It, it plumped back up. It had those wrinkles on it I showed you guys before. So there's no more of those wrinkles. It was like super wrinkled, just this older one. The other two were okay, but um, just as I was thinking before, uh, because the soil was so condensed and basically you know, uh, suffocating the roots of this main, this main stem here or the main trunk, um, so that older one, it wasn't able to get the water or the nutrients up here. So yeah, just untangling those roots and breaking up all that old kind of uh, consolidated soil that was stuck around the roots, kind of freed it up a bit and got repotted in fresh soil. Um, mostly I used coconut coir from EcoGrow and yeah, it looks like it is doing really well now. Okay guys, don't mind the mess in my kitchen right now. I'm sorting through cabinets and I'm cleaning and organizing. So everything's a bit discombobulated right now. I have an outrageous amount of potatoes. Look at this. Well, potatoes and onions, garlic, all this kind of stuff. Um, I need to get a better organizing system for this stuff. So I'm thinking 
I'm gonna like turn this cabinet into my potato cabinet or something. We've got this huge bag of russets because Michael likes his russet potatoes. He's into like the white potatoes and I'm into like the colored potatoes, you know? Um, so I have like my baby purple potatoes, I have sweet potatoes, um, and then like these little baby creamer potatoes, these I get at Costco, those are so good. I love making uh, mashed potatoes, like garlic like buttery garlic mashed potatoes, vegan butter um, with those. Thinking in the future, I'd like to have either baskets or something where you're able to pull it out or, you know, maybe burlap bags. Um, I'll have to keep researching the best way to store potatoes and onions, but if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. For now, I'm just gonna work with what I have today because I wanna get those up off the counter and they're gonna be going in that cabinet somehow, some way. So I'm either gonna cut the bags like a little bit shorter and kind of store them in there, or I have this piece of packing paper which I was thinking I would just cut in half because it's quite large and I thought I would kind of fluff that up around them and like sort of like a little nest like a little potato nest in the cabinet okay let me try that okay that's how the potatoes are going to be organized for now until I get some sort of you know little containers or something to have them in but I think that'll be fine for the time being at least I can get rid of all of this packaging here and get that off of the counter. And then we have the onions and garlic. I've got a couple different kinds of onions here. Um, so those I'm gonna store separately because I read that you're not supposed to store your onions with potatoes because apparently they give off different gases or something and it can make the other one go off sooner, or, you know, ripen too fast. So I'll find a different place to store those. Ideally, it would have been nice to have them right up there, but um, I'll try to keep them, I'll try to find another place for them. All right, guys, I just finished mopping the whole house um, and that took a while. I, I stopped filming because I was like, you know what, this is gonna be boring just running around cleaning. Um, but I need to finish cleaning up the living room a bit more and then Michael's got some laundry. I gotta do another load of laundry. I gotta hang his stuff and yeah, just kind of finishing up cleaning a bit here that I need to organize my plant stand. Um, that stuff's gonna be outside because that's the spray paint and primer we're gonna be doing the pots with. And then I gotta take this little guy out and water it. I've got my plants in the front now. Um, I'll take you guys outside too, but Michael wanted to put the firewood back here, so he did that. I, before I had some of my plants back there, but I decided to switch them to the front because there's there's this kind of, um, well, there's this driveway that goes on the other side of our fence here, um, or our wall, and like cars come in here and it kind of like peels out and anyways this dust comes in here and it settles on everything that's in the backyard so once i realized that i was like okay i'm gonna have to move the plants because the plants were getting totally dusted and i you know they can't they can't photosynthesize when their leaves are covered in a layer of dust right so it was just getting too bad so i decided to move them out into the front so i'll show you the ones that i have out here right now um just like my adeniums out here i just kind of lined them along the little wall out here. So I've got some more out there. And then down by the side here, which you can't see. Anyway, I'll take you guys out later. The kitchen is almost done being cleaned. Um, I have a little bit more cleaning to do up here. We've got some mail there, I gotta put that away. And then um, in the sink, I've got some dishes I'm doing there. But yeah, most everything is cleaned and wiped down. So here was the potato nest, right? Michael's got his little potatoes he gets from Costco when he's in a hurry. And then in here is where I have the onions just in this little box. Onions, garlic, you know, like all the, like I've got a few different types of onions in there. And then we've got our spices, which aren't really organized ideally right now, but that's mine for the moment. I've got my cereal. Michael has Bisquick because he loves making biscuits. He is totally, like I always tease him because he's so into like white food like white and beige food he's all about that which is kind of like my my decorating style you know but that's like his food style right oh and the best mac and cheese the vegan mac and cheese this daya oh that is the absolute best you guys um so if you are looking for a vegan like it's so cheesy and just melty and oh it's such comfort food and then in here we have our protein powders, almond milk. Um, these are the back stock of almond milk because we buy at Costco, so it, it's in a big pack. Um, so I always keep several in the fridge. And then those are just the back stock. And then I've got like four containers of medjool dates also from Costco because those were on sale. So I just stock up whatever stuff's on sale. Uh, Michael's coffee, oats, oats, back stock oats, and um, rice up there, jasmine, brown jasmine rice. And that is just like, um, like garbage bags and stuff in there. Um, I should do like a new what's in my fridge kind of thing, but right now um, I, I need to clean it. So I'll probably like, maybe I'll do like a what's in my fridge after I 
get done cleaning it. Oh, and this little section here, it's sort of here, if I could stand back here, it's, it's like a little pantry type thing here, right? But really narrow shelves. So I was like, what could I put in here? Well, I have some of my vitamins down here, like my, my kind organics, my B12, uh, sublingual spray, some vitamin C. Um, but yeah, I have one, one container of tea that's like almost gone. So I think I'm going to get some more tea and this is going to be like my little, my little tea collection in here. So that's what I'm thinking for that cabinet. And then this is empty right here. So most of the cabinets in the house are actually empty because we don't really have that. I mean, we don't really have that much stuff to fill up the cabinets, which is good. So like there's all these cabinets here for storage, which is awesome. Right now we just have some um, like papers and paperwork stuff in there uh, because we're waiting to find the right filing cabinet and then that stuff's going to transfer to there. But anyway, I'm going to have some green tea right now and I was going to make a coffee actually. That's why I had like the blender out and everything. But I'm going to have a few sips of this first and then we'll make a coffee. Hey guys, so we've done a lot of cleaning today. I'm um, sorry I didn't get to film as much as I expected. I think I'm actually gonna roll this video into tomorrow's vlog, which I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get my hair done at this new place. I'm gonna take you guys with me and see how much I can film of this, but it's called Belaza Salon and uh, here in Tucson. So I'm gonna go have my hair done because it's been a while. My root growth is like pretty much out of control up there. So yeah, the last time I had my hair done was in June, the beginning of June, just before we moved. And my friend did it. Um, she worked in a salon there and she, she's pretty good. But yeah, starting over and trying to find like a new person to like who can get to know your hair, you know, because I want to go to the same person each time. So it's just a matter of finding the right, right uh, color specialist to go to. I'm not sure what time Michael's getting home from work. He called me earlier and said he was probably going to work later today because the guys wanted to, uh, they're trying to bust out a project and uh, they're building, building a commercial project down in town. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and make food now because I'm probably not going to wait for him, but I'll have everything ready when he gets here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make um, Southwestern vegan breakfast tacos because I was gonna make that earlier and I didn't get a chance to make that because I was cleaning and I just kind of like snacked throughout the day so I was eating you know just snacking out of the fridge but um yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and make those tacos now so we're doing leftovers so I already had some of the tofu made and that is tofu turmeric and some spices you just throw in whatever spices you like um, I do like you know a little bit of salt and pepper and why not? So, okay, let's build it. Let's see if we've got everything. So I've got my shells, and then we're gonna do the tofu, black beans, um, wait, okay, olives, cilantro, pico de gallo. Make sure I get all my colors in there. Avocado, and I think, I think that's all. Let's see, light. So we'll let that heat up there. Okay, we're gonna move everything that I gotta cut over grab my cutting board and my knife this is one of my favorite knives to use oh you know what one of you guys asked me one time what this knife was and you, you know what Michael's dad actually got this for us I don't know if you guys will be able to see that kind of insignia there but it says Messermeister I think but it's it's a really good knife we've had this our entire time that we've been married so 13 years now and yeah it's it's still like perfectly sharp and it's awesome um so i guess it's more i don't know i guess it's supposed to be more like a cheese knife but i literally use it for everything it cuts everything awesome let's make sure i get the right avocado i want to make sure i use up the most ripe one first i organize my avocados in order of which one is you know ripest so i've got my greener ones here but this one looks a little bit green i think this is supposed to be here is this weird is this weird that i organize my avocados <laughs> Okay, I think this one's gonna be perfect. Okay, let's throw on a shell because I think that should be ready. And then uh, we'll heat up the black beans and the tofu and I'll get slicing everything over there. I think this one's good. I like my tortillas a little bit browned, just where they have a little bit of crisp to them. That's perfect. I've tried to do three tacos, but it's never enough because I end up stuffing them. So it's better to just go ahead and do four and then they won't be so overstuffed. Keep our tortilla. Okay, we're building our tacos. We've got our tofu, I'm adding the black beans. And then on each taco, we're gonna do a quarter avocado. Okay, we're gonna do our pico de 
Pico de Gallo. Alright, and there we go. That was like a 10 minute dinner. Well, it's nice to have things, you know, prepared ahead of time where you can just reach in the fridge, grab your containers out, and go for it. So that is gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna put my hair up for this because this is like, you know, eating tacos is like an Olympic event in my house. So gotta get our hair up out of the way and get ready for this, right? Oh my god. Mmm. Shoot, we totally should have had some wine for this evening, you guys, seriously. Wine and tacos. I don't drink very often, but just sometimes in the evening, you know, on a taco night, it's just so good. It's like this wine and taco bliss of relaxation. It just makes the food somehow like or even richer, you know? You know what I do have? I have ice cream, vegan ice cream. It's from Halo Top. It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's, um, I think I've got uh, salted caramel. Like paranoid about looking out here because I'm expecting a package today uh, from UPS and usually they will just like drop it and run. Like they don't even bother, you know, because there's no vehicle here so they think that no one's home. So they don't even like knock on the door or ring the doorbell or anything. Just all of a sudden I'll look out there and there'll be a package out there. And I'm nervous about it because um, Michael had a pair of shoes stolen back here. Um, they were actually like right outside this door. And yeah, they were a nice pair of shoes and he forgot him out there. He wouldn't have normally left him out there, but he just forgot. And uh, they walked off. So yeah, I'm just trying to listen for when UPS comes up and drops off that package because I want to get out there right away and grab it because it's two pair of Nike shoes. And um, I know that you guys had mentioned, like some of you guys were like, don't buy from Nike because whatever, you know, their reputation of being made overseas or whatever. But um, yeah, I've tried a lot of different shoes and those are still the most comfortable. It's a particular pair from Nike that I just, I get the same pair like over and over again. So I have like a few colors of them. Um, it's the fly knits. They're the only shoes, like one of the only pair of shoes that I've been able to wear that don't hurt my feet. Like my feet are like ridiculously sensitive and they get blisters from everything, which totally sucks because it really limits like what kind of shoes I can wear. But these are the most like gentle that I've found for sneakers or, you know, like running shoes on my feet. So I just keep going for these. If I could find another brand who does a similar, cause it's like wearing a sock kind of, like it's super stretchy on top, like the whole upper, um, whatever you would call it, the, the encased part of your foot to the top of the shoes so not the sole, everything else. It has to be like super soft and flexible for me to be able to wear it. So if another company that you know of produces very similar uh, styles to the Flyknit from Nike, let me know because I definitely check those out. But so far these are the only ones that I've found. Okay guys, this is the ice cream. Halo Top Sea Salt Caramel is the one I'm kind of obsessed with right now. It is so good. It's dairy free. It's made out of coconut milk. Oh, it is the best. Oh my gosh. I like to let it get a little bit soft just around the edges and it's just so creamy. All right, UPS just arrived with my shoes. I cannot wait. Been needing some neutral shoes so bad just like you know plain I got black and then kind of a speckly gray okay Nike fly knits plain black and white it's exactly what I wanted I'm gonna try them on make sure that they fit the same as my other ones okay all right so that's the first pair and then these are the ones I was really excited to see Oh, oh, I like these a lot. Yes. Okay, I love, I love the look of those. Okay, I gotta go get my socks and try them on, make sure that they fit the same. You know, make sure sizing is right and everything. Okay, I have my Bodega socks. These are my favorite. I got these on Amazon. Um, I'm gonna get some more of these because they're so comfortable and they have like this little bit of padding right around the bottom. Like they're just like super comfortable, like right around the toes and padding. And they're kind of, 
kind of I guess seamless almost like they don't have any like weird ruffling that can rub on the toes or anything okay I'm so hoping that I ordered the right size in these I, I just got the same size as what I normally wear but you know how sometimes shoes like from year to year even this the same style they can kind of change it a little bit just like tweak it and sometimes the sizing can be slightly smaller or larger so it's really hoping these are gonna be perfect perfect fit So far, so good. Just gonna get them laced up. Yep, perfect fit. Yes, love those. Okay, the black one's the same exact style. I'm just gonna put it on, compare the two. Okay, I love these so much. These are so comfortable. Yep, those feel really good. Okay, awesome. I love that gray pair too. Oh my gosh, I love all those speckles, so cute. Okay, yes, I'm totally in love with these. These fly knits are awesome. Hey guys, good morning. I'm at my appointment right now. They're not open yet. I didn't know that they didn't open until 9 o'clock. My appointment's at 9, so I usually show up to appointments you know, a few minutes early. Um, I took an Uber here, so they dropped me off. It's a beautiful day. The mountains are gorgeous up there, and I'm really excited to get my hair done. I need a trim. I need a trim so bad, so I'm really hoping that um, the girl that I'm seeing, it, hopefully she she'll be able to look at my hair and be like okay i know exactly what i want to do with it because i like that when i can just walk in and be like you know show a couple of pictures you know i like the beachy balayage look you know where it's kind of pc and stuff but um yeah hopefully she'll just know exactly what she wants to do with it and i think i need some kind of more lighter pieces mixed in like i like the the contrast like light and dark you know kind of just i don't know sort of like a little bit of that messy kind of look turns out oh that's the other thing it's not too ashy because it looks weird like it looks better if I have more golden blonde uh, not you know we don't like the brassiness but golden blonde versus the ash I think the cooler ash tones look super pretty on more fair or you know cooler skin tones but on my warm skin tone it just looks like it makes me look washed out and stuff so I can go for that golden blonde balayage like just beachy sun-kissed kind of look so we'll see how it turns out hopefully it'll be good okay i'm gonna go try the door and see if they're holding it there it is palazzo beauty bar oh, look at those mountains oh gosh i would love to be in subino canyon right now it's so pretty up there Oh, you're right. Yeah, because you're like, I'm at the zoo, people probably say that. Hey guys, I'm in the salon, covered in oils. Um, so, this is a volume 20. I'm here right now. Let's see how it turns out. <laughs> Alright, guys, I've got my shadow root on, so that's what's gonna blend my roots to the highlighted part. Um, I think I have to let this sit on for about 20 minutes and then she's gonna do the toner on the rest of my hair. So she lightened the ends. Can't wait to see how it turns out. See you guys in a little bit. Mushroom broccoli stir fry for dinner. Oh, these mushrooms are really good too. We get these at Costco. I can't remember the name of them. Michael threw away the container, but Next time we go, I'm definitely going to stock up on those because they're so meaty. So yeah, they're really good with teriyaki or uh, coconut aminos. I'm going to do the coconut aminos tonight though because I don't have any teriyaki. And this is the coconut aminos that I get at Trader Joe's. So usually right after I get done cooking, I'll just add a little splash of that. It's really good. I didn't get to show you my hair yesterday. I forgot about that. Um, so there it is, just a fresh balayage. So the color is just, you know, all freshened up and got retoned and everything. So she did kind of an overall, like lighting, you know, lightening the ends more and then just bringing it up higher. So anyway, yeah, she was worried that it was gonna be too blonde for me. And I was like, she, she doesn't know me from years ago and I had like super bleach blonde hair so I'm like I'm not afraid of going too blonde but I do like a lot of the dark in there too to kind of like break it up a bit so it's not too much like all one color so I like that sort of PC look but she did a natural balayage so you know where she blends it really well and basically like um, I guess uh, they call it like a color melts so hopefully that is coming up so you guys can see what it looks like now 
you know, it's always kind of in the same color family, right? It doesn't really, I don't really change it up all that much. I'll come up to this window because it's a, a little bit brighter out in the back here and you might be able to see the color better. But yeah, I think the tone turned out really good and I think she did a really, really good job. They're very talented there. Um, so, the, so Leslie is a girl who did my hair. She's at Belaza Beauty Bar. Yeah, I, I want to say Belaza Salon, but I think they're Belaza Salon on Instagram. But their business is Belaza Beauty Bar. Anyway, my battery on my camera is dying, so I'm going to go ahead and charge that up, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.